Extension. Extension. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I covered the eye tips, the flat tips, the tape ends. You guys already were doing the fusions. I think you pretty much, you know, it's the same idea. You want to make sure everything's clean, very precise partings. You always want to be very honest with people. Tell them realistically up front what is going to happen and what is not going to happen. If they want something that is unattainable, please tell them that it's not possible. That's the biggest thing about doing extensions, I think, in the end of this is that they trust you and you trust them. And, you know, not always is it always just about vanity. Sometimes things have happened to people that they want to cover up or something. So just always be very careful and very mindful that you might not know what's going on with them. And, um, like I said, just make sure that everything is clean, precise, you have it planned out. If you have any questions for them about anything, ask them. Little simple things, like if they go to the gym at 6 in the morning. Like little simple things. I had a girl that wanted tape ends. She put her hair right here every single day. I was like, you can't do that. You know, it was little things. Mm -hmm. So make sure you know their lifestyle, how they eat. I mean, anything. If they drink a lot, if they are sleepers, if they surf a lot. Every single thing you find out about them will tell you what you can or cannot do for their looks. And as I'm going to repeat again, just be honest. You want it to be believable and realistic looking. It is your name and your salon walking around out there, especially at the beach. So just like I said, don't do to anybody else what you wouldn't want them to do to you. And just be mindful and be creative. And try not to overthink yeah. it. You have a six month old that likes to wrap their fingers around your hair. Yeah. I mean, it's little things like that. I have learned to ask the most simple, silly questions that people are like, I didn't even think about that. Like sunglasses or reading glasses. They they might be wearing contacts that day. I have contacts in. I wear glasses every night. Nobody would ever know about it. But I had extensions in, and that girl was like, well, do you have glasses? And I was like, oh, my God, I do wear glasses. She's like, okay. So she started extra half inch. So just think of that stuff. And again, be honest, be respectful, and be mindful of what their lifestyle is and what's realistic, okay? Good. Are you going to brick lay them like you would with your fused ones? What you will do is you will never skip this way. You can always skip this way. You don't necessarily need a brick lay though. Okay. You want them all touching each other in a row and yeah. then go to another row. Yeah. So another you don't line. do one here, one here, one here. No, yeah. Yeah. You just need them all no, in I mean, row. you still do a row, but oh, like yes. the next row, like so you got one, two, three, and then you. You just line it up. You know, or like maybe you one, you two, doing, three, four, but like. Are you doing panel, like panel, panel. one, two, three with spaces in between, like one extension and then here, one extension here? Uh -huh. kind of no, you, touch. Want them you want them next to each other, exactly. The Just reason why is this. if you do extensions, but they're all, I promise it'll only take one minute. If there's hair in between two extensions, this hair will constantly loop around the other hairs and you will get dry box. Oh, very, God. very easily, especially. <laughs> but on accident. <laughs> but on accident. <laughs> um, but like, it, like, it will wrap around each other. So you know. make it look like. So Let's say clip-ins like look yes. when they're laying on yeah. the head. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. You never skip this way. Absolutely never. On any of them. On any brand, it's highly suggested. I don't know how a lot of them teach, but through my own experience, I've found that if I leave gaps in between the extensions, like in your head, you would think you would because it's like foiling. It does. It gets messy. The hair entangles. It gets wrapped around the top of the extension. It's just, it doesn't work. Yeah, it, yeah, just don't do it. Don't. Just That's a very important... What about the sides when you get to the sides? Same thing? Same thing. Actually, on the sides, what I do is I actually pack them in as a tight application, a thick application. I, I do every single hair, every single up and down on this like little square right here. But then how do you put it up? You just call it. You just can't. Oh, well, on the go. fusion. Oh, okay. Yeah, fusion. Okay. Tape in, same thing. You just do the rows right here. And it's I'm hard to put it up. Yeah, that's the only thing, tape ends, if somebody is really like a diehard ponytail girl, she's not going to want them, at least not here. So what if you did tape ends in the back and the fusion's in front? Totally. Yeah, I love them. Do you have any So you can do your fusions in a row? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. Always exactly a row, good neighbors. Even up top, you don't break lay with fusions? I never break lay. Nope. Okay. See, we always break lay. always break lay. I mean, I was so you were taught to break lay. Yeah. Mm. I'm not going to say that's not right because it might be for a different brand, but as I said, I've, I've been certified <laughs> in three other brands, and the first brand I was taught to do that, 
and I had that problem and I didn't know what it was and I, it wasn't a huge problem necessarily but when I stopped doing that and I started doing a continuous line it was tremendously better fuller I'll put it that way you didn't get the little much easy. more clean yeah much more even distribution much more realistic much more everything Almost I like found, a lot. yeah exactly much more coverage Covered so with the, but the tape ends too, you're still going to make it look like one piece. Again, touching, not overlapping, and not a space, just brushing each other. Yeah, you never skip this way, but you can skip this way, but never so this way. So what confusion do you leave any hair in between? I don't know. Oh, wow. No. Again, because it can loop around. And it does. Yeah. So if you just don't want as many, you skip this way. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, if you don't want like that bulk or whatever, if you're just looking like they find here, but you're length, thing. yeah, just skip two fingers instead of one or three fingers instead of one. Absolutely, there's no law that says you have to do this pattern on this person. Is there a certain way you do? They want to add length, but don't really want that much more thickness. It's really just the length. You um, go back to back, you, to back to back and don't skip. I did like, what you said. Bottom. I actually don't do it like that because then you have this like bulk here, yeah. and your hair kind of gets like that pyramid -y thing. Mm -hmm. So I do what you just said. I'll do like two rows and leave like two rows open. I'll do two rows, leave two rows open. So they still have the length, and there's the thickness to make it realistic, but you don't have that bulk, the unnecessary bulk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Now, when would you, like, I've heard of people using both methods, like they'll use tape-in and eye tip or fusion on one head of hair. What's, what are the advantages and disadvantages of doing that? Or, so, that? advantages are, I can, I, this one little lady, the one I was telling somebody over there, super fine. <coughs> yeah, that's me. Yes, super fine <coughs> hair. I do that on her. Um, I do the tapins on the side sometimes. We switch, we try because she's not sure what she likes best and, and she's very realistic so she knows that we're trying stuff. Um, what I found best for her is we do fusions in the back, like all of this, and then here is the tapins. <coughs> because her hair is so baby fine and she has like, like the whitest scalp I've ever seen in my life. Like you can just see straight through her hair and her hair is platinum on top of it, so I just do like little tiny baby ones there. Um, like the platinum, the lightest platinum. You, like you don't do the tape ends? No, I do one single-sided. Okay. Just the single-sided okay. right here, and I'll do like three of them right there. Oh, so you don't you say under single -sided under -sided under -sided okay. Okay. Um, I explained that to somebody else, and it wasn't all of you at once. So the, okay. the tape ends, you don't have to sandwich. Oh, you do? Okay. So there's um, single-sided tape. Also, okay. you can buy. So there's the reuse of the the tape, the replacement tape. That's the word replacement that you can put back on here. And then there's single sided tape, which basically it looks like the little um, clear tab that's on there that's sticky. That's what that is. So basically, what you would do is you would go in here and apply this. But instead of another web, you just do the adhesive. Yeah, it's just a little teeny tiny strip, the exact size of this white. And it's clear, and it's just that adhesive. <coughs> and you literally peel it. It's easiest if you clip this up, and you just tape it, put it back down. And so you do that with finer hair people? Yep. Finer hair people or pops of color. Like okay. with your blonde, like if you wanted like a pink or something, and you didn't want it like too chunky, like yeah. overwhelming, I would probably put like just one. two of those there and like one in the middle. Okay. And then like slightly razor it or point cut it just to shatter it a little bit. Because cool. it's not too bulky. Cool. Wouldn't you be able to pull your hair back higher if you did fused ones on the side and more tape yeah. ends in the back? That way you wouldn't see that yep. pulling? Yep, it helps. You still have to be mindful because the tape ends, you still need to go up. So they need to be like bun wears, but you can absolutely do them on the sides, the fusion on the sides. Yeah. Because I feel like if that. you had the tape ends here, then it would be like you kind of would like be forced to do yeah. a low ponytail, mm -hmm. whereas this lady that, has like this a hair would go back mm -hmm. and all this would go up. Yeah. Yeah, you'd have to be like a good bun wearer to push it up there. This lady has a bob that does not move. But if you wear buttons, you can wear. Yeah, like I did it because I put my bun like right here because of my shape stuff in the back. Like I always, I didn't do it this week, so I'm not showing you. But I always had like a fun design in the back, so I wear my buns like super high. really high. So if I have tape, it doesn't matter because I literally fine. pull it all up. And it's fine. But if you start going to the side, it's gonna. It hurts. Okay. It's not worth it. It is just not worth it. So I would just put my ponytail like right up here and like bun it when I did it. But. I'm, I'm a, I tuck, I pull my hair up, I twist it, I do all kinds of weird stuff, so I don't generally do the tape a whole lot, unless it's 
for like a week thing, a vacation, a hair show, something, and I want little fun colors, and then I usually take them out because I do so much to my hair. So you can't really do like fun braids, you know, like the little braids. I personally, I'll tell you this real fast. Generally, if somebody says, I don't know what I need, I don't know what I want, but I need hair. I do this real quick. I don't ever do more than two times what they have. So if they have a bob, it's not going more than twice that way because it won't be realistic. Mm -hmm. It just won't. Mm -hmm. You can try all you want, but when they turn their head, you're going to see this cap right here. Mm -hmm. And it's mm -hmm. just not cute. I don't care who you are. Mm -hmm. yeah. So for really, really short hair, if they're trying to grow their hair out, I usually suggest the tape in because there's no ponytail issues. You can do fun bangs if you, like I say, in your pixie. Your pixie. Yeah. Did you know the answer? I was kidding. I didn't ask you. <laughs> <laughs> I was kidding. <laughs> you just have it She's like, wow. She's like, like what? But like for your hair, if you wanted something done, but you were like, it's not, you know, we can't really give you a whole lot of hair. We could give you like really fun fringe and okay. like really cute on the face, stuff like that. And for that, I suggest the tape-ins because then you can easily take them out yeah. and put them back in. Um, the you longer like hair, you know, that's when I, if somebody has like shoulder length hair, I still kind of like the tape ends because they're not crazy into the, the duns. Um, it makes me a little nervous when people with really long hair want tape ends. So I'm like, are you sure? Because they always immediately the next day when I go throw their big, luscious, gorgeous hair up and it's really cute ponytail and they, they're they texting me like, all you hear is click, click, click. Yeah. And I'm like, I told you. So, <laughs> you know, the meals. They're angry and it just gets really loud. So <laughs> I can like hear it through the phone. So I, I get a little nervous. I want to make sure why they want the tape ins. And usually it's because they say they've had them in the past and they love them or they absolutely want to try them. But if they have long hair, I generally ask for the fusion because I find it to be the most long lasting, realistic looking, and movable personally. That's my personal choice. You said fusion? That's mine, yeah. If somebody comes in and doesn't know what they need, I'm I just feel like it um, stands up to the weather here on the beach and all that. Um, you go in the ocean and you can get some slippage from the beaded, just because. Huh? I have seen it. Mm-hmm. Do you ever problem have problem in the ocean? No. Not usually. I've had them for years though. I'm used to. You used to them, yeah. I did. I think when I went, just because mine was so, it was so long and well, so when heavy. when it was long, yeah, yeah. it would literally. It was really heavy. Like, I had 22s originally, and I had them cut before I got on the plane, like, in the airport. We yeah. hashtag airport all the time, because we take in and put out extensions in the middle of the airport, like, Atlanta airport at, like, 4 in the afternoon, and people are, like, walking by, mm -hmm. going, why is she ripping that girl's hair out? Because I'm just, like, throwing it everywhere. It's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great way to give out your card, by the way. Like, people fly us places for extensions because they see us in airports. Nice. You would not think it, so. So, you know everything you need to go and make people even prettier. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, clean partings, don't overthink it. If you need help, call me or ask your friends. Usually, it's, you know, if it's colored, you're like, I don't know. What do you think about this? And they're like, yeah, girl, what do you, do? you know? And you're like, ah. mm -hmm. and you go off and you do it and it's perfectly fine. So, just ask your friends, does this look right? And they'll be like, no, <laughs> or yes. So, you know what to do. Okay? okay. Last minute, you good? Good. I think you all know what to do. Thank you very much.